Hello everybody. I just want to show you quickly how to fix the problem you're seeing right now on the screen. This is this flickering of the zoom axis. So in certain positions the zoom axis the, has this behavior when my joystick is worn out. So if I zoom in and out a bit it might be okay but at times it goes to this flickering position. I did not find a way in DCS to fix this. My configuration is the following. Um, after two maxes here on the thumb wheel on the thrust controller. So to fix this, we need three things. Let's exit this as first. Um, we install a virtual joystick driver. This is VJOY. Then we need a tool to configure it. This is Joystick Gremlin. And for Joystick Gremlin, we will need a plugin to filter the signal. What this basically will do is to average multiple samples of the position and just send the average to DCS. So this will introduce some lag, but this doesn't matter on the zoom axis, but will smooth the, the signal. So let's start by installing and downloading VJOY. Where are you? Here. So. So the first time when I tried to install VJOY, I had the problem that the setup was hanging. So I found this page here with tips and tricks, which you can avoid that. And what I did now is unplug my HOTAS and I will try the installation again. Okay, great, that work now. So let me add this to the taskbar. So. As next step, we install Joystick Gremlin. Take here to Windows installer. It's okay. So, as next step, I will plug in back my joystick and my thrust controller. Let's quickly check if they are back there. Yep, here they are. Good. 
Ah, oh, and here is also the, the Vitroy driver, great. Let's put it on the task list here. And start it. So as last step, we need to install the plugin here. I have the link here. Let's download it. So, put this on some place. Now we can select it here. And to configure it. So what I want to do here now is a slider on the virtual device here. And this should be get the input from the thrust controller from the thumb wheel. This is the set, set rotation that I use for zoom. Then I take here number of samples 10 and update in milliseconds 20. And that's it. And now I can start it here. And I should now see this uh, slider here and the virtual joystick device in DCS. So let's fire up DCS and see if that works. So. So we already see here that we can see the virtual joystick. And now we can use the zoom view from that one, which is filtered. Let's first see what we... I feel for access tunings. Okay. So it recognized the slider here from the virtual device. So I can remove that. And let's clean up all which is put in here. We don't generate conflicts. <coughs> so let's start a mission. So. 
So it is you know with the current settings you cannot fill it because you do not uh, act on the wheel. It does lack a bit because it does average values, but for the zoom axis this does not matter a lot. And depending on your requirements, you can now uh, adopt the settings in joystick gremlins here. For example, when you take much more samples, then everything will be, oops, get a bit more lucky. Hold on. Can I not change this? Is there a limit? Okay, let's take 50 to try it, so. And you see now it, it's uh, much slower this way. So you can adjust that to your requirements. I fared best with 1020 here. And if you start it, uh, you have to make sure that this uh, gamepad icon here is green, such that uh, the plugin is activated and everything. Oh, it did not take the change, hold on. Let's stop and start it. So now, okay, good. Yeah, that's it. I hope that was useful. See you another time. Bye.